County Assistant State's Attorneys caught on a hot mic. Yeah, they were allegedly making disparaging remarks about a high-profile attorney who was in court thinking their microphones were off. WGN's Brona Tumulty is in the newsroom with more on what was said. Brona? Good evening, guys. Yeah, we spoke this evening with the lawyer at the center of all of this. She says those remarks were made about her and one of her associates, but she says she's mostly upset that her client is caught up in all of this. He's trying to have a decades-long murder conviction overturned, and she says she has received some apologies from the state's attorney's office, but none from the Cook County judge involved. What horrifies me the most about the whole thing is that he was going to continue to preside over a case and decide the fate of my client. And my client's been lost in all of this. That's Jennifer Bungine, a high-profile attorney primarily based in New York. Earlier this week, she was involved in court proceedings here in Illinois. Yeah, I represent yeah. Uh, Roosevelt Miles, who um, I've represented for quite some time, and he um, is an individual who we allege was wrongly convicted in um, in 1993, and um, so that's the case that was in front of Judge Reigns when this unfolded. Bonjean says Cook County Judge William Rains has been presiding over the case for about 18 months. After things had wrapped up for the day, it seems a YouTube live stream was still rolling and comments that were caught on a hot mic have landed some in hot water. They were, you know, like I said, closing up shop, if you will. And the judge out of nowhere, for no apparent reason, says, oh, I'm still replaying in my head the argument between Todd, who was the state's attorney, and Ms. Bonjean. Bonjean tells us Reigns started chatting about her with two Cook County prosecutors and a Cook County assistant public defender. Did you see her going nuts, glasses off, fingers through her hair, the phone's galling all, all over the place? It's insane. And then the biggest problem comes when he says, can you imagine waking up next to her every day? Oh my God. And then all the girls laugh. Amid the remarks, she says assistant state's attorney Susie Baccaro then chimes in. And one of the ASA goes, there would be a number of things wrong with my life if I was waking up next to her every day. And then the judge says, I couldn't have a visual on that if you paid me. We're told comments were also made about Bonjean's colleague. In a statement from the state's attorney's office, we're told the behavior exhibited by assistant state's attorneys is unacceptable and runs counter to the values of this administration. Their actions reflect poorly on the work of our office and the entire criminal justice system. State's attorney Fox has spoken directly with both assistant state's attorneys and as a personnel matter, this will be addressed appropriately. Bonjean tells us she has received some apologies. I did receive an apology from Kim Fox on behalf of her assistant state's attorneys, and I did receive an apology, individual apologies from the state's attorneys who were participating in this conversation, and I accepted those apologies. But there's been none from Reigns, and today a motion was granted to have whatever was said on that live stream preserved, because Bonjean plans on making a complaint to the Judicial Inquiry Board. Certainly he should not be presiding over things as important as criminal court proceedings where people's lives hang in the balance. Now, we reached out to the Cook County Chief Judge's office today. Per a spokesperson there, they can't comment on pending cases, but she did confirm that Judge Rains has recused himself from this case and a new judge has been assigned. We're live in the newsroom, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Well, all right, Brona, thanks. Still ahead, America.